Hello folks and welcome to the channel or welcome back. And this video is all about pouring the concrete in the barn. And you might have seen the previous video where we prepared the barn. Now we're going to pour the concrete. It is now five o'clock in the morning, so I'm barely awake and these guys are already working. So let's go and have a look. And unfortunately the footage will be all fairly dark because it's still dark outside. Hopefully you enjoy this video. So the first truckload of concrete has arrived with a big concrete mixer and the total amount of concrete inside this mixture is about 11 cubic meter of concrete. And driving down the driveway isn't, at the gate isn't always that easy so there was always a guy helping out to make sure that they wouldn't hit anything. What you see right here is the pump wagon because we are using a pump to pump in the concrete into the barn and this is the sprout that the guys are mounting now on this long arm of the pump wagon. This is a fairly heavy stuff and as you can see it's supported with uh, strong chains so just in case things flip around. So this was the sprout where the rubber hoses will be connected to and the guy is now preparing the inside of the pump uh, just to make sure that the concrete doesn't stick and they basically are spraying uh, a mixture of oil and water onto the metal parts as you can see here so it is better for the concrete to slide and makes it a hell of a lot easier to clean it all up at the end. Now here we have a look inside the concrete pump where the concrete will come into and you'll see it in a few minutes and this device is able to pressurize or pump the concrete with a pressure of over 3000 psi in fact it goes up to 370 bar which is a hell of a lot of pressure and here you see the concrete falling into the pump and on the right hand side here that's the pump wagon and now we are going to drag in the hoses into the barn and getting ready to pour the concrete now this pump arm is very very high up and tall and I couldn't film it because it was just too dark outside. So they need to connect a couple more rubber hoses um, and not that often it is a bit hard. They're pouring in some water here just to make sure that the rubber is not uh, absorbing too much of the concrete because otherwise the concrete will stick to the rubber and then you're going to get clogging and you don't want to have those hoses to explode when there is clogging. And here we have the first concrete coming out of the hose and um, it looks like easy but I can assure you that these pipes are extremely heavy and actually you see two guys with hooks moving the pipe around because that pipe is full of concrete so if you ever lifted concrete then you know how heavy that pipe can be. And while one guy is driving the hose the other guys are leveling the concrete as much as they can. Meanwhile the guy in the mixer keeps an eye on the concrete flow just to make sure that everything continues to go. So while some people are pouring another guy is already starting to level the concrete. And here you see more concrete coming into the pump and you can see again and how the pump is pumping and you may hear this clunking sound well that's each time the pump is doing some pressure now the slab will be about 14 to 17 centimeters uh, in some places so it's going to be thicker than initially planned and here we have a little view on the pump and look at that you're pumping at 3000 psi which is about 202 bar which is a hell of a lot And here we do some more leveling. Now of course that's not the final leveling. But these guys are really good. Um, I just couldn't do it like this. This is um, quite impressive the way they level things. Uh, for me this is just magic. I tried it before. So the first wagon or mixer is now done. And now they're rinsing it off. So yes it makes a little bit of a mess. But hey you know I cannot complain. I have to say, these guys are keeping their material very, very clean. So now the first truck is leaving and the second truck 
or mixed truck is arriving with the remaining amount of concrete which is another I think another four or five cubic meters of concrete which is coming in and again as you can see it's dark outside so it's not always that easy to drive backwards in this small driveway so again now they're hooking up the mixer to the pump and ready for the next load meanwhile the guys uh, already mixing the top surface uh, which is kind of a special mixture that makes the concrete harder so the concrete is finally poured and we have about 17 cubic meters of concrete in the barn so now we need to wait about two hours before they can start uh, using the butterfly to smoothen it all up and this is what we call the butterfly it's basically a couple of uh, spades that are rotating and that way you can actually polish that concrete very very smoothly now this is going to take a couple of hours to get it done and at the same time they're going to add some product on top of it so i'm going to a dark gray kind of surface once they are done with this they will let it dry until tomorrow and then they come back and then they're going to cut some sleeves in it because you can't leave that concrete in one big surface because that's not going to work so at the end we poured 17 cube of concrete with special enforcement inside the concrete and on top of that we have a special coat now as you can see this is the rough stuff where the guy is walking on and that is a mixture of uh, cobalt and a color so that's going to be rubbed in so that will give you at the end a polished finish but this is going to take a couple of hours so I expect he will be busy for the whole afternoon. And the final question is now, how much does it cost me? Well, the total cost was 9,000 euros. And that is for a slab, which is 120 square meters, fully polished, 15 centimeters thick, and supported with a steel grid of 15 by 15 by 6, which was 1,200 euros, a polyethylene foil, which is 100 euros, the pump cost 400, that's a default cost. The pumping cost per cubic meter, that was 100 euros. We've got the expansion insulation around the walls, was 100 euros. The concrete enforcement fibers, which are 500 euros, preventing cracks in the concrete. We got aluminum profiles for 100 euros. We got a top coat concrete for 500 euros. And then we got 17 cubic meters of concrete for 5,000 euros. Some small stuff and of course some taxes. A total of 9,000 euros and I think that is not too bad this is quite thank you for viewing and in my next video I will show you the final result of all this work and hopefully you will come back and have a look at it and if you have any comments feel free to state them because I'm always checking them out thank you so much bye